Hey, welcome back. My name is Matthew. We're playing Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven. And we are in New Haven. Now, I want to check out all the houses. Oh, before we do that, uh, thank you guys for uh, sticking around and watching through this excessively long series. I'm really enjoying playing through this game. But this is episode 100, so the fact that you've made it this far is pretty surprising. I think most people would watch the first couple of episodes and give up on my hopelessness. I'm not sure that we'll do anything super, super exciting this episode, but we'll see. I mean, I want to get into the sewers, because we saw last time that there's some kind of crazy sewers underneath here. I think we're going to go around and maybe uh, check out all these trainers. Let's see, so mind magic, be rank four. I don't see any reason not to do it. We haven't really used much mind magic. Actually, what do we even have? We've got meditation, remove fear, and mind blast. I'm sure we'll find more spells to use. We've got quite a few skill points, so let's just do this while we're here, in case we actually need it later. Yes. Boom. Done. Alright, where is Thane Roper? Silver Cove. Alright. Oh. Hi there. Body magic expert. I think we are already that. Yeah. Gilbert Hammer in Silver Cove as well. Okay, it looks like Silver Cove is going to be an important important place for magic training. Guild of Water. Well, what spells have you got? Water Walk, we know that. Town Portal for 6,000. Town Portal teleports the party to the central fountain of the last town visited. Town Portal has a 10% chance per point of water magic skill of working when cast. Hold on. A 10% chance of working per point in water magic. So if I only had one point, 90% of the time this wouldn't work. But at 10 points, I'm assuming that means it's guaranteed to work. Okay, at normal, it only works outdoors. Expert, indoors, okay. Master, works anywhere and gives a oh, choice of destination. Wow. Alright, well, we're obviously buying Town Portal. This is a really, really strong spell. Ice Blast. Let's see what this is like. A ball of ice. Launching seven shards of ice in all directions. Oh, except the casters. That's nice. Wow, each shard does 12 points of damage, plus 1 to 2 per point. That's pretty decent. I'm a little worried about the uh, ricocheting until they strike a creature. I mean, that makes it sound like it's going to hit us a lot. But maybe we'll buy it anyways. I definitely want to try out some non-fire AoE magics. I think we have Awaken. Water Walk, Poison Spray, Awaken, Ice Bolt. Alright, so we're definitely going to buy Town Portal. And we'll go for Ice Blast as well. Let's quickly check. I think we have Awaken. We do. Yeah. Okay. Let's learn these new spells. Okay. 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 And how are you with your water magic? Four points. So there's a 40% chance the town portal will work when we cast it. Better than nothing, but we're gonna want to put more points into water magic pretty soon, I think. This looks like another shop. Ooh, fire magic. Oh, meteor shower. What is this? Summons flaming rocks from the sky in a large radius surrounding your chosen target. Ooh. Try not to be near the victim when you use this spell. Single meteor does 8 points of damage plus 1 per point of skill. Only works outdoors. Slow rate of recovery in 8 me- oh. Wow, eight meteors. That's 64 damage base, just to start with. Expert. 
12 meteors. <laughs> Master 16 meteors. Alright, well this is a obviously a pretty powerful spell. I think we want it. Let's see what else there is. I think we have Firebolt from the beginning. I don't think it was very good. Oh no, we had Flame Arrow from the beginning. We might not even have this spell. Alright, launches a burst of fire at a single target. 1 to 4 points per point of skill. Casting cost is low. Okay, we'll probably buy this. Seems like it would be somewhat useful. Scales, a single target. Okay, Flame Arrow sucks. Meteor Shower. Inferno. Burns all monsters in sight when cast. Excluding your characters. Well, we're not really in sight, are we? Good for cleaning monsters in one or two easy castings. Okay, each monster takes 12 points of damage plus one per point of skill. Eh, uh, that's okay, I guess. I mean, it's pretty good, but it doesn't scale very much, so not so sure. Ooh, Incinerate. That's expensive. Amongst the strongest direct damage spells available, Incinerate inflicts massive damage on a single target. Only the strongest of monsters can expect to survive this spell. Damage is 15 points plus 1 to 5 per point of skill in Fire Magic. Okay, we definitely want this, but wow, that's expensive. 12,000. Okay. Okay, so we definitely want to buy these new Fire Spells. This is getting pretty expensive, but we're doing it. Incinerate for sure. Meteor Shower for sure. I, I want the Firebolt. We're getting Firebolt. Oh, inventory must be full. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Wow, Elaine is just studying the books today. So many new spells. All right, Firebolt. Yeah, I mean, I think we're. I think we're gonna. We didn't buy Inferno, did we? Uh, we did not. I think. I think we're going to skip on Inferno. For now. Okay. I mean, we just learned a lot of new spells, and I don't think Inferno is necessary at the moment. So many new spells. I can't wait till we get to try them out. Let's just take one more look at it and decide. So it's 8,000. Pretty expensive. 12 points for every monster we can see. Oh, we should, we should do this, because that's area where there's just infinitely spawning mobs. We can kill so many of them in just one or two casts of this. Alright, we're, we're gonna buy it. I feel like we're splurging a little bit here, but we'll do it anyways. Okay. Okay. Alright, Elaine, you're just getting so powerful so quickly. Alright, Guild of Air. The magic of flight. Yes, the magic of flight. I believe we already have shield, but we need to get to expert level before we can really make good use of it. Oh, fly. Hello. Grants the power of flight. This spell is very expensive and only works outdoors, but it's very useful. One spell... Oh, fly will drain one spell point every five minutes. It is in use. Okay. So, the duration is really just until our spell points run out. Well, so it costs 25, and then... Okay, so... You're our air magic user, and you only have 26 spell points. So we're pretty much unable to use fly right now. Maybe in a few hundred levels, Clark might be smart enough to use it. But for now, I don't think he is. Jump, let's see. Launches your party up in the air, landing you 60 feet from where you started. No falling damage. Okay. This, I mean, it would be a one-shot use for Clark, but maybe that would be useful to have. Implosion. Hmm, okay. Looks pretty powerful, but Clark isn't really the spellcasting type. Wow.
So this is very similar to Meteor. Starts with higher base damage, but it doesn't scale very much. Only works outdoors, just like Meteor. I don't think we need it, but that is pretty damn cool. Alright, so let's check if we have Featherfall. I think that's the only one we're actually going to buy. No, we'll, we'll get Jump for sure. Alright, Jump is a utility spell. And let's see if we have Featherfall. We do not, so we will get Featherfall as well. The magic of flight. Yes, the magic of flight. Maurice the Guildmaster. Bit of a broken record, but that's fine. That's all he really does. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. There we go. Anything around here? Greetings. Ba in the sewer and four leaf clovers. If you don't know Oh. That's not what you said, Jeff. Alright. I don't know if you've noticed, but those creepy followers of Ba keep popping in and out of the buildings around town in the strangest manner. Could be that they've located one of their temples in the city sewer system. Aha! Well now we know it's going to be in the sewers. Four leaf clovers. I have been to the circus three times, and I can't win anything. All I really want are the nifty four leaf clovers they use as prizes there. I'll pay 25 gold for any four leaf clover you bring me. Um, quite frankly, 25 gold is nothing, so we're probably not going to bother with you and your crappy little quest. What's this? Another house. Archer. And, oh yeah, you gave us some... Uh, how? You dick. Yeah, what an asshole. Can't believe you did that to us. You broke our armor as well. Alright, well we're gonna have to repair. And we do need to sell all of our garbage. Some of this isn't garbage, but... It still know. needs to be sold. But we're in the middle of looking around, so Guild of Body. Hopefully we got some crazy new spells. Flying Fist. Throws a heavy magical force. 30 points of damage. Pretty damn powerful. First Aid. Uh, oh, Power Cure. Cures hit points of all characters in your party at once. Number of the number cured is equal to 10 plus 2 per point. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Power. Uh, might and endurance buff. I think we need cure disease. I'll have to check that. And I probably want to buy power cure, although we're starting to run out of money and it's pretty expensive. Yeah, so we don't have a uh, cure disease yet. So we're definitely getting cure disease. And cure power for 12,000. I mean, 10 plus 2. So that's 18. I mean, that is a lot more than Cure Wounds, and it hits everybody, so I think we have to buy it. That's just such a huge healing upgrade. So, Power Cure, serve us well, please. Starting to run out of money, but we bought a tremendous okay. number of new spells. Good show. Good show. Just move that so we can attempt the repairs. That's beyond my skill. Well, darn. How about this one? Fixed. Yay. Alright. That's beyond my skill. How many skill points? 46. Repair item. We still haven't actually found the uh, expert repair item. Maybe we have and I've forgotten, but it would be nice to double the effect. We might actually be able to repair things. What's this? Another house. Ah, uh, the sewers. Richard Harp? Nope. Okay, let's just Try and remember it's right here in the middle. We'll be back here shortly. 
Why is Adrian getting injured every time we leave a building? Oh, someone's shooting us. That's the only explanation, right? We don't, as far as I can tell, have any debuffs. Aha! You there! Stand down, or perish. I think we'll try a fireball. Well, a fireball, sorry. A fire bolt. Nice single target. 18 damage. Pretty sweet. Who else? Aha! See if Wizard Eye helps us out. It looks like this is the only one. I wonder how Inferno works with friendlies. Probably it hurts them. Oh, another one of these towers with the keyhole. I want to know all about you. Guild of Earth. I'm not a member. All right, well, no Earth magics for us then. Were we in here already? Yes, we were. This place, we can sell things here. See anything you like? No, but I would like to maybe sell some of our garbage. I mean, we've collected tons of this stuff, and as much as I want to experiment more with the potion making, I just don't have time. So let's clear out some inventory so we can make better use of it. We're going to stop picking these up. We'll still pick up the potions, of course. Shortly. I don't know. I wish there was a button I could hold down to just show me all the unidentified things in my inventory. That would be pretty useful. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, you can hold on to his armor. Shuffle the potions down to Elaine. She can hold on to all of those. Including the empty ones. I don't know. Aha. Oh. Alright, nothing particularly useful. I don't know. Okay, I think all of this stuff is good to I sell, except for the stuff that we have to double check. See anything you like? Ooh, disease immunity. Well, we just got uh, cure disease, so I don't think we care too much about that. Plus 10 to all resistances is pretty nice. Okay. I don't know. Paralyzing. I don't think we need that. Mm. Awaken. I don't think we need that either. Oh, you're not interested in buying our garbage? All right. We'll sell that. He'll buy our boots? Sure. Oh, hit points plus five. Maybe we can wear that. I think we'll sell this, because I really don't think we need it. Thanks. Now, let's have a look. We do have lots of room for more rings. I think we want to give more health to Adrian, since he's the one who keeps our party alive. And on that same note, let's make him more resistant to magics. Alright, so he's got might, hit points, plus 10 might and personality, hit points, resistance, personality. The might we can shuffle over to Deanna, who has might, luck, and might. We got endurance and speed, that's fine. Resistance, spell points, intellect, 
intellect. You might as well wear this. Still got our resistance gear sitting over here. Uh, we're gonna sell this. We want to repair this, but we're out of room, so we'll just have to wait. Okay, we'll sell that here. You like? And now let's hopefully right. find somewhere to sell Come our again. weapons. This town is huge, so uh, forgive me if I get turned around and lost constantly. It will happen. Hello. Hi. Self magic guilds. Oh, okay. Hmm, I see. Wow. I mean, that's a pretty good skill, but we'll be fine without you for now, I think. Hello. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to that guy. Hello. Hi. Flying eyes. All right. What's this? Looking for something special. Another. Hmm. The shop seems very similar to the previous one. Different shop owner, though. Oh, what's this one? Guild of Spirit. I don't think we've been to this one yet. Resurrection. Resurrects an eradicated body. Body destroyed. Character, if you cast the spell in time, the greater the skill and the rank, the longer the condition. Okay. I share it life, okay. All current hit points are totaled, one extra point per. Ooh, okay. That's pretty interesting. Of course, bless. Okay, so does resurrection work just for any death or only if we've been eradicated? Like, can we use, if we're just normal dead, can we use Resurrect? I don't know, but I'm hoping we can, and we're gonna buy this. And we are so low on money, I have to stop buying random stuff, because okay. at some point, we just can't afford it. Alright. Hopefully, didn't waste a whole bunch of money. I'm sure that we'll make some use of those. Uh, Greetings and salutations. Equinoxes and solstices. Many unusual magical effects occur during annual astrological events, such as the two solstices and equinoxes. Eclipse, midnight, noon, comets, all these things can magic. You know what? I don't care. Gabriel Cartman the Alchemist, give me a quest. I have a few theories about the undead that I would very much like to prove. What I really need is the remains of an undead creature, preferably a powerful one. Actually, what I really need is the remains of the first thing, Ethric the Mad. I am a scholar, however, and don't have the means to gain such a specimen. I do have some money saved up, and I'd be willing to pay you well for Ethric's remains. Fantastic. We'll see if we can find them. And what is this? The Freehaven Temple. Of course. Completely deserted, empty, in ruins, not worth our time. Let's, uh, let's find somewhere to sell our crap. And once we've done that, we're going to go into the sewers. Freehaven Academy. Right. Let's How let's see if we have enough money to train up. Okay. Wow. It's okay. a lot of levels. Okay. 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 Fantastic. 
All right, come on, shops. Where are you at? There we go. That looks like a shop to me. Don't touch the merchandise. Not interested in these things, of course. You are an armorsmith. You are a door that doesn't work. Sharpening stone. Take my weapons. Yes, that's right, even my good ones. Forty two plus three. Real quick check. All right, looks like we can sell that. And both of those as well. All right, let's real quick do the armor repair, and then we'll sell all the other pieces of armor. Don't touch the merchandise. Repair. Okay. Oh, we don't actually have that much to sell. Just a shield. Don't touch the merchandise. There we go. Come back soon. Okay, with our inventory more or less sorted out, I think we're ready to go into the sewers. So, where were the sewers? They were over here. Hopefully we can find the right house without too much of a hassle. Let's see, was it... This one. No, this is the tavern. How are you? There we go. Found it pretty quickly. Alright, so we spent way more time than I thought we would going around town, so we're going to end the episode here. But next time, we're going into the sewers, where we shall defeat yet another branch of the Ba worshippers. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the 100th episode, and I'll see you all next time.